Hello, this is Julian and you are on Eat the Blocks and in this video, I'm going to show you how we can interact with a Solidity smart contract using the Remix Online IDE. By the way, I created a free email course to teach you how I got my first remote blockchain job paid $100,000 a year. So if you want to learn all my secrets, you just have to sign up at this URL. So in the last video, I show you how we can deploy our smart contract to the local development blockchain of Remix, but deploying is just a first step. What is really interesting is calling the function of your smart contract and interacting with it. So let's see how this works. So I am in Remix and the smart contract that you see is exactly the same as in the last video. So I have one value that is an integer and I have two functions, get value that return the value and set value that can change the value. Before we can interact with our smart contract, we need to first deploy it to the local development blockchain. So on the left, you're going to click on this icon to see the deploy and run transaction menu. And for the environment, we're going to select the JavaScript VM. So that's the local development blockchain for the account. So that's the Ethereum address that's going to deploy the smart contract. You can select anyone, it doesn't really matter. And here you're going to make sure that you have selected the correct smart contract and you click on deploy. So you will see this appearing below. So that means we have deployed a contract to the blockchain. And then by clicking on this arrow here, it's going to expand this box and you will see these two buttons set value and get value. So for each external function of your smart contract, you're going to see a button appearing here. So let's first try with get value. So I'm going to click on it. And here I see this thing appearing. So the return value is zero. And I can see that the type of the return value is a uint 256. By the way, if you just specify uint, that's a synonym for uint 256. So that's normal that here we have uint 256, but in a smart contract, this is just uint. So the default value of a uint is zero. Okay, so let's try to change this value. So next to the set value button, so here you have an input text. So let's try to put, for example, 10. Okay, and I click on set value. And here on the right in the console of Remix, then you should see some information about the transaction you just sent to the blockchain. And so now if I click on get value again, then I can see that now my value is equal to 10. So it has succeeded. Yeah. So as you can see, it's really easy to interact with a smart contract using the user interface of Remix. The only caveat you might have is in cases you use some complex input like array, for example, it might not be straightforward to know how you can specify it here in the input text. And we will see this later in this tutorial series. So we're going to stop here. And in the next video, I'm going to explain you what is the difference between functions that have this view keyword and other function that don't have it and how this is related to Ethereum transactions.